Hey guys, so we have another unboxing for BoxyCharm. We skipped last month because there's just a lot of stuff going on and It was Christmas. It it was holidays, it was me starting a new position, so very busy, but here we are. Apparently you got a wand. I got a wand. I see your sort sorting house. You're a wizard, Harry. This is like unnecessarily long. Oh, well, I think there's more in there. Oh, it's Dragon Beauty. So, I'm going to assume that this is a lip liner. There's something else. Makes oh, me think of hey, Voldemort. It has a sharpener. Oh, nice. You know, that is really cool because they never send things like that with the lip liner. Alright, this is the Dragon Beauty Lip Job Liner and Sharpener. Contour, reshape, and create your ultimate lip fantasy with this XX Extra Long Lip Pencil. Lip Pencil, yeah, Extra Long is right. Ultra moisturizing and hydrating, the formula serves fuller lip needle free. Keep your lip job liners on point with this single blade Dragon Beauty logo sharpener. Cute. Very excited about that. Also, I got my nails done today. Perfect timing. Expecto Patronum. All I can think of is like every video that people are picking up really long icicles and pretending to be Voldemort. Just me? Okay. What is this? Oh, cute this, jar. This is from Earth Harbor Naturals. This is the Nymph Nectar Super Fruit Radiance Balm. As sea fruits and tropical sugar berries playfully melt across your face with this balm, they insert a lively abundance of vitamin C, A, E, N, K, omegas, amino acids, and numerous other bioactives necessary for achieving your best, bounciest, dewiest skin yet. See, I wonder why they keep sending me stuff for like dewy skin and glowy skin and everything when I definitely selected I have oily skin. So, like, why? But okay. Why? I'll still take it. Is is this meant to stay on your skin? Because this is kind of chunky. Oh, I guess it, it melts out. I don't know. I still feel like there's, like... It's a balm? Granules in it? As playfully melt across your face with this balm. I don't know about that. But it smells really nice. It does smell nice. You should put it on your face. I'm, I mean, I guess. <laughs> I will, but... I'm gonna. I'm still annoyed. I'm gonna. Like, send me stuff like pore filling or oil absorbing. Stop sending me glowy stuff. Yo, this, feels, Ooh, this feels expensive. That expensive. looks expensive. Pharmacy. Feeling good... Hyaluronic Acid Plumping Serum, a skin plumping micro filling serum that hydrates and smooths the look of fine lines. This powerful formula features advanced multi-molecular hy hyaluronic acid designed to penetrate the skin more effectively along with amino acids and vegan collagen peptides to deliver visibly plump, healthy looking skin. Nice. Plump your skin up. And definitely with hyaluronic acid, you want to use it when your skin is damp. So it's actually doing its job and holding the water in. That's what would give you the the plumping. I don't know how I feel about that. That smell. Smell that. I don't know. But I mean, if it works, I'm going to use it. It looks very expensive. I feel like when it's a beautiful frosted glass component... You can just tell, you know, it's it's probably a lot of money. There's one. What is this? There's two. This is the Pinky Rose Cosmetics Multi-Use Makeup makeup Base Sticks. Uh, a cream-based multi-use makeup stick that can be used on the eyelids as an eyeshadow or a primer to your eyeshadow can be used on the bottom lash line, waterline, brow bone, or lips. The perfect duo can be used together or separately. Cute. So you can mix them together, I guess. So they're eyeshadow sticks or primer, you said. Yeah, I said it can be used on the eyelids as an eyeshadow or a primer for your eyeshadow. 
So the one looks like it's very metallic. The other one looks like it's very matte. I don't know that I would be able to use them. That bronzy one's really metallic. I don't know that I would be able to use them as an eyeshadow per se because I have very hooded eyes and things crease a lot, but they're really cute. I've never had anything from this brand, I don't think, so that's exciting. I could see that matte one being a good primer, maybe. Honestly, I guess they could both be a primer. I need to wipe my hand off. Not bad. Okay. Finally. This one's heavy. Ooh, what is that? Makeup. Well, duh. It, they, apparent, they apparently wanted to put it in seven different containers. This is the Aesthetica. And then put some woman's face on there. That's creepy. Oh, this is to show you what to do with it, probably. Because it looks like she's all mapped out, right? Yep. Looks like she... Okay, so this is what it looks like. Are they all cream? They are. There are no names for anything. Here you go. Apparently they're teaching you how to contour your face. And highlight your face. So it also comes with this, which is cool. Oh, and then it has all different face shapes, what you should do. That's really helpful, actually. Make sure make sure you save that so I know how to ev eventually do your makeup. The Maybe. selfie contour cream. All right, so this is from Aesthetica. It's a cream contour kit. This kit contains six blendable silky creams that are designed to accentuate, define, and highlight your face. Three contour shades for sculpting and three highlight creams to enhance your favorite features. This kit includes removable and refillable pans, packaged in a travel-friendly mirrored palette, specifically formulated for fair to dark skin tones. That's all the tones. Well, <laughs> I was like, why did you say for all tones? Because that sounds fancier. Yeah, I guess. Well, it took me, I had to get through seven things to actually get to this thing, so. I'm, like, I'm going to say this is probably expensive, too. I feel like Aesthetica Oh uh, is... Yes, Aesthetica, the balm, yeah, the the serum, the balm, and the Aesthetica were, all the, like, all $40. Thirty-eight, forty, and $44. That's not bad for this, though. That's 40 bucks. That's not bad. The balm was 38 and the pharmacy serum was 44 I knew it felt expensive. As soon as I, <laughs> as soon as I looked in there, I was like, oh, that looks expensive. That's expensive. So, um, all right, here is this stuff. So, uh, it's time for you to do makeup and it's time for me to get out of here. Bye. Okay, so I'm not going to use the serum right now because I usually use, uh, hyaluronic serums after I wash my face and everything, get another shower. So I guess I will go with the balm. We'll see how this works. I'm probably not going to be wearing makeup for very long today. We're going to go out for dinner. I just, I can feel the sugar in this as I'm putting it on and I do not like that feeling unless it's like a facial scrub it's just setting myself up for failure like that's come on I don't know if I'm gonna keep this on it's really shiny already like it feels nice, but I don't think this is gonna work under my makeup. Maybe this isn't meant for under makeup. I may have to read the box again. Like it feels nice, but this is too shiny. Oh, my dryer's done. It just feels like straight up coconut oil on my face. 
Do I have a glow? Yeah, but do I look really oily also? Yeah, maybe I use too much. I don't know. I don't, I don't like this. I could see this like before bed. This would be nice. Just not, not under makeup, I don't think. I don't think any primer is going to sit nicely over this. Like, my hands are completely shiny as well. I don't know. I'll give it a little bit to sink in. We'll see how I feel. If I don't like it, I'm taking it off. Okay, so I tried to find some kind of information on uh, this product's website. And it, it gives me nothing if you should do it in the morning or at night or whatever. But I read really nice things that people put this on their lips, their cuticles. They use it like a sleeping pack overnight. I could definitely get down with that. Um, I've been dabbling in, oh my god, dabbling in retinoids. So I don't want any super flaky dry skin. So I think that would be ideal for at night. So... I'm just going to let it sink in a bit while I do my eyes. If it's still a little too much before I'm ready to like do my face makeup, I'm probably going to just blot it off with a makeup wipe because whatever, you know. So I'm going to try uh, that matte one that said you could use it as an eyeshadow primer to see if we could use it as an eyeshadow mm -hmm. primer. My phone, ladies and gentlemen, is buzzing. This is like... A perfect shade for me if I want to go with what's closest to my skin so that's awesome probably put too much on there but that's fine I don't quite love how it's dragging on my eyelid it's like a really dense cream formula if that makes any sense that's a good look I feel like I have a cat hair stuck to my face as my that's my life I'm just going to blend this out with my pinky. It's like the MAC paint pot, but thicker consistency, I feel like. It has, like, a lot of pigmentation. I probably could have used a lot less, but also it's very close to my skin color, so it's fine. I don't know if I want... You know, I think I am going to powder this because I want to put that other stick on top of it and I feel like powdering it is going to give it its best chance on my oily skin. I want to give it a fighting chance. There's just cat hair everywhere. So yeah, that's nice. If you're looking for something to go under a vivid shadow, I could see this being a good option. I like the clear primers. Cat hair everywhere. Um, but definitely the ones that have some kind of pigment to them, you're going to have brighter vivids and sometimes better coverage. So I'm going to go get my powder. I'll be right back. All right. So I grabbed my powder. Usually within this time I would have some creasing. So I'm pleasantly surprised that I don't. I have this Bare Minerals. Just it's a translucent powder. There's a cat doing some fuckery over to my right. So I'm just going to powder my eyelids. Pretty sure this is going to be all over my shirt. But who cares? Eyelids powdered. Okay. Lovely. I should probably change my shirt anyways. So, I'm going to go in with this. This color is uh, gorgeous also. Really excited. I feel like this formula is a bit more glidey, you know what I mean, than the matte formula, probably because it's like a metallic shimmery. I feel like those shades seem to be a little more slippery, like they got some slip to them. I don't know if it's the different ingredients to give it shine or what. 
It's pretty. I like it. I think I'm going to focus this mostly on my lid and then blend out my crease with something else. But so far, I am a fan. It's a weird shape we got going on there, but I will work with it. I just more so want to make sure I have good coverage on my lid. And the fact that it's this little crayon thing, like I have that like webbed inner corner and I feel like I can really get in there. So big fan of that. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna finish this and then once it's all blended out, I'll be back. You may be wondering how, how we got to this point. Um, I tried, <laughs> I was waiting for my mascara to dry and I was just playing around in this and I can't use this palette. It is so warm and yellow. I, I can't, I'm, I'm a cool toned lady. This isn't going to work that maybe one of my friends could use this. This is not, this isn't going to work. I'm going to wipe this off. And then I'll be back. I'll probably have my face makeup done by then. And it won't... Like, what... Why would, why would you do that? <laughs> okay. I'm 100% going to have to change my shirt. So, face makeup is done. There's a cat under here. I'm going to use that lip liner. Can't really talk. I like this color a whole lot. It really glides on nicely. I really like this formula. It feels moisturizing. It's a shame that I got such a nice lip product during the pandemic where all I wear is a mask. It's a shame. That's really pretty. Very much like that. I don't know necessarily if I have um, a lipstick that goes exactly with this, but I think that wouldn't be bad. I think this is tart. I think it's tart man eater. Yes, it is. This was in my box last month. I didn't do like a try on or anything. I just kind of got the stuff and I needed a break. I'm a healthcare worker in a pandemic. Need I say more? This is very pretty. Very happy with that. I really like that formulation. Um, this is my look. This is my makeup covered shirt and I'm still like pretty bummed about this. I feel like there was another product I'd gotten from Aesthetica. Maybe it was like, um, I think I might have it over here. 
I do not. I just knocked a bunch of stuff over, but I feel like not everything's going to work for you, and that's okay. And I'm sure someone I know could probably get good use out of that. So I'm not really bummed about it. I like the other products I got in the BoxyCharm, so... So far, so good. We'll see how the eyeshadow wears. I had gotten mascara, like, all over the inner corner of this, and I used that, like, dry spoolie trick to get it off, and it's fine. It's holding up really well. It doesn't feel weird or oily on my lids. So I'll check in in a little bit, probably after we go on our date, and let you know how everything wears. All right, so here's my check-in. It hasn't really been that long. We went out to dinner. How long would you say? Uh, I think we. I think it's been like two hours since you've done your makeup. Probably two hours. Roughly. And you're the one that pointed this out. This eyeshadow, like. Garbaggio. It's all cracked and broken in the middle. Is it all like gathered into the different creases? I knew it was going to do that. I'm not really that surprised. I'm just a little surprised it happened so quickly, I suppose, which is kind of a bummer. But um, the lip stuff was really nice. Obviously, it didn't last because we went out to dinner and... Uh, sushi was delicious. Sushi was delicious and had to, like, wipe my face off. Um, that skin balm, I feel like I wiped a lot of that off with the debacle with the Aesthetica highlight contour palette but like it's still on my forehead my forehead does look pretty shiny but yeah I mean I think the shining star out of this is definitely the lip liner I'm very excited I'm still really excited that came with a sharpener um for real yeah like that's the first time and that it's like this freaking long yeah that's like like <laughs> That's that's pretty that's it's like a impressive, but anyways, Harry Potter wand. it is like a Harry Potter wand. Did we get any of the same stuff in our boxes? Was there a staple amongst all boxes? Please let me know. Um, what did you get in your boxy charm this month? I'd also love to know that. Uh, do you like Dawn of the Dead? Because obviously I do. If you haven't yet, please do follow me on social medias on Facebook at Reanimator Reviews, Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok at Reanimator. Links are in the description. Everything's in the description. Please subscribe if you haven't yet. I would love to have you. Hit the bell for all notifications of further uploads and live streams. Like the video if you liked the video or you could like the video. If you like all the millions of Harry Potter references that we've made during this video. Um, I hope everyone is staying warm. It's going to be a uh, brisk five, five degrees, degrees tonight. So <sighs> Gotta love Northeastern. Yeah. Fingers crossed for our pipes. And we'll see you guys later. Bye. Bye. Hey, guys. <laughs> what was that? I, it was a delay. I don't know what that was.